the Sword and Shield era of the Pokemon TCG is almost over. So today we're taking it back by opening the Zacian and Zamazento Premium ETBs. These two ETBs, at least for me, flew under the radar a little bit. We'll start with the Zacian, and of course it goes without saying that visually, these are probably one of the most stunning ETBs ever made. The black and gold is a great touch, and they just ooze premium quality. Just to finish on this box in general, the metal coins, the metal damage counters, it really is just class. And the promos are pretty nice as well. And the packs you're getting here are a range of different Sword and Shield sets. So we've got Video Voltage, Darkness of Blaze, Rebel Clash, and Sword and Shield Base. And I'm not sure if it's just me, but I love opening the base set of like any era or any generation of Pokemon once it starts getting towards the end, you know? So now Scarlet and Violet are here. I love going back to the base set of uh, Sword and Shield. It just feels so vintage. It feels so just original. I don't know why, does that make sense? Loring Zing Zagoon right here, Munna, Switch and a Cinderace. I mean, look, Cinderace, the fire starter from Sword and Shield. It just, it feels nostalgic, even though it's only a few years ago. Let me know if that's just me or not, or am I being weird? We've got Rebel Clash up next with the Grass Energy to start us off. We've got a Carcoal, Heat More. The cards definitely feel different, by the way, as well. As someone who opens a lot of Pokemon cards, I can definitely tell a difference right now opening this era of Pokemon cards compared to, say, Brilliant Stars or Silver Tempest. I promise you that the cards feel more cardboardy, less shiny. We got a Clefairy, we got a Clefable Rare Reverse right here, and no way, a Toxtricity V full art in our second pack of the video. I don't know why, it just feels like the excitement is back again. Obviously, you guys know I played Sword and Shield so much, I did a playthrough here on this channel, I streamed it like many hours per day. It just feels good going back. Hopefully that pull right there is setting the scene for the rest of the pulls in this video. We got a Sonya, Pelipper, Bronzong, Toxel, Litwick, it's lit, we got a Lotad, shout out my friend Nar. Clefairy, Voltorb, a Reverse Hollow Metapod, and the final card is a... Spirit Tomb, okay. Next we have five packs of the Darkness of Blades. Man, I remember opening Darkness of Blades a few days before it fully dropped, getting the Charizard card, and then immediately driving. I think I drove it that to Graded Gem um, to get that graded, or to at least send it off. Wishy Washy, Morlul, Pansir, Teddy Ursa, Wishy Washy and then Escavalier. Sadly, I saw the code card of the last. Um, I don't know why. Like sometimes they put the code cards the wrong way around in these ETV products. I saw it. It was awful. So I'm not even showing you guys. It was an awful pack. But this one right here will be better. We got a Wishy Washy, Rookie D, Aaron A. Aronson, Torchic, Galarian Mr. Mine, Diglett Reverse, and a Dracovish Hollow. Let's go! Wow! Come on, let's go! Oh, I remember Shiny hunting for a Dracovish as well, just tapping the A button so many times at the... Where's the place? The the Fossil Restorer in Sword and Shield. Alright, one, two, three, four from the back, giving it that tap right there, and we have a Fire Energy. That could be a sign. In Darkness of Blaze, guys, that could be a sign. Oh my gosh, we've got Vibrava, Cape of Toughness, Handstage, Skarmory, Starly, Torchic, Marini, a Reverse Hollow Arctazol. We've got something rare there, rare reverse. And the final card, please, 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 please... Oh, Scent of Scorch V. The redness, it did tease us with the redness and the fire type energy, but it wasn't the Charizard. Vivid Voltage next up. One of my favorite live streams that I ever did was when I opened about a thousand packs of Vivid Voltage live on here on YouTube. And we pulled like six or seven of the uh, uh, Rainbow Rare Chonk Pikachus, Chonk Pikachus, the big Pikachu Rainbow Rare VMAX card. Um, so hopefully we can pull one today. It will be unreal. Also the full art cards in Vivo are just some of my favorites as well. We've got a rare reverse right here with Electros. Then we have a Ninjask. I am lucky usually with Darkness Energies. I do have to admit, guys. We've got a Moo Moo Cheese, Kakuna. we got a Loud Red. Slug my balls, guys. we got a Beldum, Milsery, Whooper. Let's go. Ninkata, Eevee Reverse. And I see something, a Colossal V. Final pack of the ETV right here. We started off really strong with the pulls, but then it kind of took a little bit of a turn. So let's see if the Zacian V premium ETV can pull anything out of the woodwork. We've got a telescopic sight right here and the final card is a Alcremi. So nothing really too crazy in the first ETV. Obviously the highlight being is Toxicity V. Love that pull right there. Let's see if our second box, the Zamazenta ETV right here can compete. We're gonna change things up this time. We're gonna go the opposite way around. So starting with Vivid, going to Darkness, then going to Rebel Clash, and then finally ending on the base set, the Sword and Shield base set. First up we got Vivid Voltage. Come on, please. A fighting Energy, a League Staff, a Charmeleon, Pink Kirchen, Picky Peck, Poochiena, I can see something in the background. You can see that border right there, guys. Rockruff, Blitzel, we have Skiddo, a Reverse Hollow Garbodor, and the final card is a Pikachu V. Let's go. So it's not the full art, it's not the Rainbow Rare, but it is a Pikachu V. And I will say that is worth something, okay? That is worth some look, okay? We are we are just teasing the universe right now to give us something back in the rest of these packs. All right, next up, we have a Fire Energy right here. Is that a sign? Excadrill, Mad Cargo, Nessa, what's good? Ryolu, Eevee, C Dot, Electric, Clefairy, 
Reverse Hollow Cover Plus and A. Ooh, Diancy Hollow. You guys know I love Diancy. Not as a Pokemon necessarily, but the card artwork is always sick. So I guess therefore, yes, the Pokemon, right? The final Vivid Pack right here, guys. Please, please, please. Some Pikachu look for your boy. We got an Aromatic Kick Energy. No, we don't. Aromatic. Aromatic Energy. Swellow. Whooper. We got a Galarian Meowth. A Cotton Knee. Aracuda. Nincada. Trumbeak Reverse. And the final card is, fingers crossed, please, guys. Jolteon. So I'm afraid the Pikachu V card is not on the menu today, guys. But we continue. We proceed. Back into Darkness Ablaze with the Metal Energy to start us off. Dedene. Vibrava. Corvisquire, Grimer with some Primer, gonna paint the wall. Daramaka, Sentret, Rowlet, Squovet. Wow, okay. Golet, oh my gosh, what the hell? That was like four cards with just pure et. Then we have a Hippowdon. Wow, Hippowdon, you have to ruin the rhyme scheme. You know what? Dance the Blaze right here is going for the fast opener, okay? We're still gonna do the card trick. Four from the Bizak, give it a Tizak. We're gonna go straight to the last card. Oh my gosh, it worked, it worked, we, <laughs> let's go, it actually worked, we got the Scented Scorch V full art right there. And again, this card just takes me back, man, obviously this was the prime of the Randall Pokemon channel. So out of nowhere, the Zamazenta ETV is starting to give Zacian some run for its money. If we can get another full art, or a V Max or a Secret Rare, this one will take it, guys. We've got an Electric Energy right here, a Lightning one. For it, we have a Flaffy Ariados, we have a Galarian Mr. Mime, in the sun he's gonna shine. We got a Electric Dino, Persimian. We got a Bunnel Bee, a Reverse Hollow Talon Flame, Reverse Rare, and the final card is a. Wow, let's go, baby! We got it. Turbo Patch Golden Tool. Oh, sorry, item card, not a tool card. Turbo Patch Golden Card, Secret Rare, and there we go, guys. Zamazenta, the ETB, the second ETB of the day, has done it. It's won it by a landslide, and it's only going to done it with four more packs on the way. A full art card, a Golden Secret Rare card. Does it get much better than this, guys? Keep watching to find out. We have a Grass Energy, Patrem. Carcoal, Beware, Shinx, Aplin, Hatena, Magikarp, Meditite, a Dan, Reverse, let's go, and a Arcanine, someone call Minimint on the phone and tell me, tell me, tell him, Randy's pulled a regular rare Arcanine. <laughs> Worth about 10 pence. Okay, next pack we have, on the front, I'm gonna guess, Water. Damn it, <laughs> damn it, far from it. Don't walk with the Shuckle, Dan. <laughs> we got a Turbo, a Twin Energy, Litwick, it's lit, Cosola, Binacle, Scythe of Scythe, Vullaby. We got a Reverse Hollow Galarian Farfetch. And the final card being, oh, a Diggers B. Rebel Clash, more like Rebel Trash. <laughs> Never for real though, am I right guys? Am I right? Fourth from the back, we got a Fighting Energy. Oh my goodness, I just took like six cards with me. Fighting Energy, Full Heal, Sonya, Masquerade, Farfetch, Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Cosola, Litwick, it's lit. We got a Reverse Hollow Voltorb. The final card being, Barbarical, and that confirms it, guys. Rebel Clash, aka Rebel Trash. Sword and Shield is our final pack of the day, guys. So can we get a pause on the video? Can we get a hashtag last pack look? Can we get a like on the video? Can we get a comment on the video? Thank you guys for supporting me on the return. Daily videos coming back, apart from Sunday. We, we, we rest on Sundays, guys. Catch up with the week. We have a Grass Energy in the final pack. We've got a Big Charm, come on. We've got a Thwacky, Poke Gear 3.0, Sinisty. Woo, Lou. We've got a Shelder. Kroagunk, come on. Silly Cobra, a reverse holo Poke Kid, and the final card in the entire video, guys, is in fact a Lapras. It's not great, is it, guys? There we go, guys. The Zacian and Zamazenta premium ETBs. That was a premium opening, if I do say so myself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Pokemon content. For now, though, take care and peace out.